What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is sponsored by Fishing Clash. Fishing Clash is a mobilized game dedicated towards fishing, free to download on iOS and Android. So a lot of us are not always able to get to our fishing spots. Well, with Fishing Clash, you can get to any fishing spot you would like to. It gives you access to a whole bunch of different locations to target a whole bunch of different species. And that right there is personally my favorite thing about the game. Another awesome feature is the realistic graphics they have. I mean, a lot of these games you see nowadays are kind of fake. This game right here, the most realistic I have ever seen. Oh. I think we got a bite. Hook him. Oh yeah, we're on. We are on. You gotta be very careful because the line can snap. Let's see, he's coming in. I think we got him here. What is it? No way, a lionfish. No way. Our first fish on the game. We got a lionfish. On top of all that, you can even upgrade all your rods, all your lures, and compete with other fishermen around the world and see who can catch the biggest fish. Use my gift code popping up right on the screen to receive a three star rod, one mythical lure, 50 luck power ups, and a 30 weight power ups to help you catch bigger fish. To redeem your gift code, follow those three simple steps and get yourself to fishing. Make sure you guys download Fishing Clash right down below in my description. Not only does it support me, but I think you guys will absolutely love the game. Be sure to use my code so you don't miss out on any special gifts. Thanks Fishing Clash. Now, let's get into the video. We're gonna net this little panther grouper. He's actually not so little. This is one of the bigger ones I've seen. You don't usually see him at that size. I'd say he's pushing like uh, three to four inches. So pretty. Panther grouper's getting bagged up, but I gotta show you guys all these fish aquatic and exotic has. They have a whole side of salt water. They also have a whole side of fresh water. And we're just gonna pretty much go from tank to tank and just look at all the fish. So right here, it looks like we got a whole bunch of koi fish, goldfish. I mean, literally a whole bunch. I've never seen so many, but really, really cool. Got some little butterfly koi really pretty albino arowanas i gotta get a freshwater pond set up asap so we can get some of these guys and a whole bunch more of predatory freshwater fish if you guys get 15,000 likes we will set up a freshwater predatory pond african cichlids in the future i would love to do a pond filled with these guys just uh instead of a koi pond pretty much a cichlid pond look at this 550 this is like their display tank here at Aquatic and Exotic, absolutely insane. One of the biggest aquariums I have ever seen. And I mean, just look at the life in it. You got all this coral, all these fish. That clownfish right there has to be like 10 plus years. Can't forget about these little guys. Everyone loves seahorses. You got two of them just, well, oh, three of them. Oh yeah, that thing is about to eat. Is he, oh, he just munched. Bunch of axolotas right down here. These guys are so funny looking. And some more axolotls. Those are really cool looking ones. Little baby matamatas. I think that's like the exact size ours was when we first got him. Now he's pushing like the size of that. And he's at the house. We'll do a feeding with him one of these days. Such a cool looking turtle. One of the strangest but coolest looking turtles out there. We got the panther grouper in the bag here. We'll see you guys back at the house. We are back home. We got the saltwater pond right here. We got our panther grouper in the bag right here. We're gonna get this guy in his new home. He's gonna absolutely love it. Here we go. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. He's not going in there yet, but he will go in there one day. These guys can get up to two to three feet in length, so they get pretty big and we're gonna have no other choice but to put him in here one day. Come here, puppies. No, not you. No, not you. Not the actual puppy. This is Meatball. So Meatball, we actually adopted this little fella and uh, he's eight months. He's a little American Bulldog mixed with a French Bulldog. So that's kind of why he's like, you know, a little funny looking. Meatball, can you say hello to everybody? Yeah, uh, so we've had Meatball for like a month, I would say now. And I'm just gonna show you guys how it's been. Look at this face. Come here. <laughs> Put that tongue away. Oh my gosh. But yeah, when we first got him, 
his hair was really, really bad. He had like no hair. And we started giving him this fish oil and his hair is slowly filling in all the little bald spots behind his ears. He didn't have any hair. And that's just from like stress, not eating right. But now he's a happy pup and his hair is coming all in. And yeah, he gets a lot of attention. But yeah, this is Meepo. You're gonna see him a lot, probably just throughout the videos running around. He loves to go places with us, so probably take him on all the adventures we do. And yeah, he's a good little puppy. As a lot of you guys know, we used to have one that got pretty big, but unfortunately we had a disease that entered the pond and it killed off some of our fish and our panther grouper being one of them. We're gonna be able to watch this guy grow, go from tank to tank to eventually the pond, but let's get this guy in his actual tank. Line all hooked up. We're just gonna do this for about 30 minutes, get the temperature, salinity right. Panther grouper is done acclimating. We've had him in here for about 30 minutes, but this right here is the aquarium he's going to be going into. This is 40 gallons. All we have in here are some invertebrates, that being arrow crabs, coral banded shrimp, hermit crabs, and lastly, a starfish. Now these guys are pretty calm, so what we're gonna do and by myself, just gonna grab him just like that. My hands are obviously wet, but this is pretty this way. No splashing, nothing. Very smooth, boom. Right in he goes. He's definitely like, where am I? But groupers love to hang out. He's probably, yep, going right into that cave. What we're gonna do is turn off these lights, let him get adjusted, and we'll check up on him in the morning. It is the next day, Panther Grouper is doing great. He's right there in his cave and I did change up the rock work a little bit. I think he likes this way a lot better just cause he's got a way bigger cave in the middle, smaller cave on that side and the same on the other. I got some food right here. We're gonna see if he eats for the first time. Oh, he's munching. He's munching. That is so epic. Panther grouper is eating, which is a great sign. We've only had him for a day. I think he eats another one. Let's see. Look how majestic that fish is. Oh, he's an aggressive one. Yep. This guy's gonna be insane. That wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Also, comment down below what we should name our new panther grouper. And if you haven't already, make sure you download Fishing Clash right down below in my description. With that being said, we'll see y'all in the next one. See you!